Hey guys, JV here with another edition of my Mass Effect Andromeda Pathfinder Guide Series. This time we're focusing on minerals and all the ways you can find them for crafting. During the first quarter of the game, I found myself wondering where I could find Mineral X to craft that awesome weapon or armor set because I just couldn't find it. Instead of wondering yourself, I'm going to cover the best ways to find the resources that you're looking for. Don't worry, there are no spoilers in this video. Before we start, just a reminder that you can find Andromeda Tips and Tricks Guides, Multiplayer, and my 100% completion screen playthrough on this channel. So if any of that content interests you, be sure and subscribe. The first and most obvious method is mining for minerals, and each planet that you can actually land on and explore and move around on outside of a market or a city or something like that will have minerals that you can find either by dropping mining nodes or going around and physically collecting them with your Pathfinder. Before you go ahead and land on a planet, you'll have a list of minerals that are most abundant, and I think these are the ones that will show up on your mining computer when you're going around in your Nomad, but you can also find other minerals on these planets, it just won't be as abundant. On the explorable planets, you'll unlock forward stations. As you guys know, when you explore more of the planet, you'll get these forward stations, be able to change your loadout, spawn your nomad, all of these things. But these also serve the function of unlocking mining zones that will appear on your map. So taking a look at the map, this is EOS and all of the forward stations and different mining zones that you can go to and mine for resources. If the mining zone icon is white, that means there's still stuff that you can mine there. But if it's blue, that means it's completely depleted and you can't launch any more drones or or mine anything from that. Once you approach a mining zone in your Nomad, you'll see in the top left corner that it'll say it's rich in minerals. It'll say rich, good, fair, or depleted. Of course, if you haven't visited before, it'll say rich. Opening the mining computer, you'll find a little mini game is what I would call it. And essentially you're driving around these mining zones and seeing where each of the minerals really tick up and where you want to launch a drone. And generally speaking, a good rule of thumb when you are launching these drones is to not launch one unless you have one of the minerals in the blue zone, which means there's a pretty good amount of minerals underneath the ground and you should launch a mining drone. I found that most of the time I will launch three to five mining drones on a single mining zone and honestly I don't think it's a huge deal to get over like 50% in the blue zone as long as you're in the blue zone I think it's safe to launch that mining drone of course if you're driving around and you see it you know spiking up even higher and higher you probably want to go for the highest you know area of that specific mineral if you can find it but I wouldn't worry too much about finding you know above 50% or some kind of arbitrary number like that I also don't believe I can't confirm this but I don't believe that mining drones are a set resource like you're not going to run out of mining drones that you can launch you have as many as you need and so really it's about you know covering a certain area and once you've mined all that you can mine on that zone it will say depleted that means you cannot launch another drone there are a lot of mining zones and I mean a lot across the explorable nomad planets the reason I make that distinction is because there is one explorable planet that you can set down forward stations but you can't actually you know go out and mine in your nomad because you can't drive around in it but the ones that you can drive around in there are a lot of mining zones. I might there might be 50 to 100 mining zones in the entire game. My big issue with this method is that it is monotonous and I find that it breaks up my exploration. I don't want to stop and mine for minerals when I'm questing or trying to get something important done on a specific planet. And so Probably what I'm going to do is go and mine all of this stuff at once, just spend one to two hours completely mining everything on one planet, and then move on. Another way that you can come across minerals out in the world is just by finding a mineral node and collecting them when you see them. And I don't find that this is an effective way to farm for minerals in any way. It's really random. I mean, for the most part, you're going to find these nodes near the bottom of hills or on rocks, especially on EOS, as you're seeing right now. And you know what? It's better to just grab them when you see them when you're exploring around if you see one hop out of your nomad go and grab it then hop back in and go on your merry way I think that's a good you know way to go about things throughout the entire game but in terms of specifically looking for these nodes I think it's pretty difficult you'd have much better luck finding all of the mining zones and just launching your mining drones so those were the fairly obvious methods now let's talk about other ways that you can find minerals that can be pretty helpful so the first other way is by using your AVP cryopod points this is something you're going to lock unlock in the first 10 hours of the game I want to say and then once you unlock it you can easily access this on your Tempest. 
Under the Science tab, you'll find Mining Operations, which will allow you to receive a selection of minerals at regular intervals. It's every 45 minutes. So essentially, if you spend a point here, every 45 minutes, you can come back to this terminal on the Tempest or somewhere else where you can access this, like the Nexus, for example, and then collect your rewards, and you'll get a nice little chunk of minerals. You could also take this further and grab Expanded Field Analysis, which has additional mining nodes becoming available for you. So that's also helpful. These aren't necessarily minerals, but they are required for a crafting so if you want to take this a step further and grab these every 45 minutes you could go under the military tab and grab either hunting parties or special forces or both those will give you organic materials and tech materials at those regular intervals if you're going to be crafting a lot and that is your goal I think these are good points to be spent early but I will say I'm not a big fan of the system just because it's every 45 minutes you're not going to be returning to the tempest every 45 minutes that's just usually not how it goes if you're truly exploring the entire game and you also don't get notifications so you could set your own timer or something like that but this is not a surefire way to just get a bunch of minerals or materials very very quickly for crafting if your goal is to farm a bunch of minerals very quickly for something this is not the way to do it however I do think this is a great alternative to going out and mining all of the zones because again I do think that's monotonous this is kind of more of an automatic way to get that done now shifting our attention to strike teams this is yet another way you can get minerals and very simply as you send your strike teams on missions certain missions will have specific pathfinder rewards that will give you a materials loot box and that is the only loot box that will give you anything for crafting i think overall this is less of a deliberate option and more of a cryopod option where you're kind of doing this automatically and you'll get a decent amount if you go ahead and pay attention to your strike team so once you've completed a mission you'll receive loot boxes as you guys know in the far right tab in single player you can redeem your pathfinder rewards and any of them that say materials Material, loot box those are the ones you want to open and you'll find a decent collection and variety and amount of minerals from these boxes the boxes also work in rarity tiers so the higher the rarity the more materials the more rare they're going to be so you've got bronze silver and gold gold's going to be the best bronze is going to be the worst the next method is through looting containers out in the world and this is very random I feel like but I wanted to mention this specific thing just because there is one specific planet that has a lot of resources that you you can't actually go out and mine but you can still explore it so if you don't want to know the name of this planet I've already got gameplay on the screen from my stream then you should just mute me for about a minute so this specific planet right here Havarl has mining caches and these are very big boxes full of like 200 minerals so if you haven't been to Havarl and you want to do a lot of crafting and do it uh, kind of get collect them in a way that is not obtrusive to your exploration because you're going to be opening containers no matter what this doesn't require you to stop and you know drop a mining node in your nomad and search around for it instead you can just open these mining caches and they'll have a ton and there are a ton of these on Havarl so if you make it a point to look around while you're on this planet you will find a lot of minerals this next method is surprisingly good for very specific and sometimes very rare minerals and this is simply deconstructing items so if you pick up a certain piece of armor or a weapon you guys know that you can deconstruct it but in fact if you deconstruct copies of items that you might have for example if you have two of one piece of armor two of one weapon you don't need both of those obviously you want to get rid of the other one because inventory space is pretty cramped in this game instead of selling those extras to vendors I definitely advise if you want to do a lot of crafting to deconstruct them and if you're looking for a specific kind of resource you can actually see what you're gonna get out of deconstructing an item before you pull the trigger so for example I found that ket weapons are very good for vanadium and vanadium is a mineral that I have a hard time finding but but it's in a lot of the things that I want to craft a lot of ket items and very specific helios cluster related research and development items so just remember if you're looking for element zero or vanadium look to your inventory see if there is an extra item that you don't use necessarily deconstruct that click the button at least and see if you'll get that resource from that specific item the final method for finding minerals is by buying them from vendors and there's a variety of vendors across different species on different planets on outposts neutral locations markets wherever it may be the most accessible vendor is obviously on the Tempest it's the buy and sell kiosk right where the research and development center is I haven't found this one to have super rare minerals or anything crazy like that but it does have minerals tech materials and organic materials so if you need any of those they will be right here to buy very easily again very accessible 
If you're looking elsewhere, there are some very good vendors on the Nexus, on another few planets that have different markets where you can find a large variety of very rare to very common minerals, tech items, organic materials, whatever they're called in this game. And generally speaking, if there's a lot of different vendors in an area, you're looking for the one that actually sells these items. Look for the general goods vendor. They will have a large variety of these kinds of items. And if you want to take it a step further, I believe grabbing the gray market connections cryopod point will give you extra inventory at vendors. And so some of the things you're seeing on my screen might only be available through that. I, had, I don't have a before and after because I already grabbed that cryopod point. But again, if you want to expand the inventory, you probably want to grab that point. All right, guys, those are all of the ways that you can find minerals out in the world. There's a variety of different options, automated ways that you can handle stuff. I mean, you can get a decent amount of minerals by not even touching a mining node just by having these automated systems going with strike teams, cryopod, you know, going to vendors, all that kinds of stuff. So I'd like to close the video with a question. Do you guys like the mining in this game? I'm talking about going around and dropping mining nodes. The more I play, the more I realize that I don't really like it. It just feels like a chore that slows down my exploration. I don't want to stop and go around and mine. I understand the appeal, but it doesn't seem like a huge innovation on what we had before with planet scanning and the other methods of finding minerals. That's just my opinion, but I'd love to hear what you guys think. If you learned something new or just enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for Andromeda Tips and Tricks Guides, multiplayer, and my 100% completion stream playthrough continuing tomorrow and throughout the week. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.